Hi everyone, and welcome to another online jiu-jitsu workout class. As usual, we hope everybody is doing well in these trying times and managing to take advantage of our online classes to stay engaged with your jiu-jitsu practice. So, let's get ready for class. Like so. Mess. Hands on your belt or your hips or whatever you got. Head to the right. Itch, me, san, shi, go. Dai, itch, me, san, shi, go. Head back, down, back, down, back, down, back, down. Look right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Tilt right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Any way we need it. Shoulders forward, itch me, sound, she, go, reverse, itch me, sound, she, go, alternating, itch me, sound, she, go, reverse, itch me, sound, she, go, hands up, elbows back, itch me, sound, forward, itch me, sound, forward, itch me, sound, forward, reverse, itch me, sound, back, itch me, sound, back, itch me, sound, back. With Kamni, left hand on your belt, right hand forward, itch, knee, san, shi, go, reverse, itch, knee, san, shi, go, and die, itch, knee, san, shi, go, reverse, itch, knee, san, shi, go. Natural stance, both arms in, itch, knee, san, shi, go, reverse, itch, knee, san, shi, Go, come me, right arm in, itch me, sun, she go, itch me, sun, she go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, punch, die, itch me, sun, she go, itch me, sun, she go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, punch, both that in, itch me, sun, she go, itch me, sun, she go, shake it in, shake it out, side to side, double punch. Hips to the right, itch, me, sun, she, go, die, itch, me, sun, she, go, stretch back, forward, back hands overhead. Me, which means that I'm shooting the opposite to left, which means I'm shooting the opposite hatch to two. And ready for torso rotations to the right, which knee, thumb, she go, die, hitch, knee, thumb. She go and a standing split, elbows to the left, which means I'm she go up the seat, hitch, do rocking, hitch, me, then she go look, seat, hitch, do do back on your heels. Left. Which means that she go up, switch, catch, go, go, right. Which means that she go up, switch, catch, go, go, back to center. Elbows down. Which means that she go back, switch, catch, two, back on the heels. Take 
left. Which means I should go right. I should go through. Which means I should go right. I should go through. Not just for that. In. Out. In. Out. Drop the right shoulder. Die. 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 Stand your right foot for side kick. Die. Die, toes up. Die. Die all the way down. Die. Die. Okay. Drop your right knees, you need to hurt our stretch. Forward. Which knees I'm shooting. Go left, switch, push, two, two. So that's right, that's right. Twist. And die. Forward. Which means I'm she go right switch and she go to. Twist. Forward. Which means I'm she go right switch and she go to. Twist. Die from the front. Remember, be kind to your knees. Don't do this. If it's bad on your knees, you can always tuck your foot underneath your leg. Bring your knees closer together if you need that. Forward. Each knee is on the Go up. Seek. Catch. Do. Twist. Twist and die. Forward. Which means sound she go rock seat patch to do. Twist. Forward. Which means sound she go rock seat patch to do. Twist. Take in front, take them up, which means sound she go up, seek, hatch, two, reach a little deeper, which means sound she go up, seek, hatch, two, sit straight, twist right, left, feet apart. Right, reach right, which means sound she go up, seat, catch, do, left, which means sound she go up, seat, catch, do, center, which means sound she go up, seat, catch, do, right, which means sound she go up, seat, catch, do, left. Which means I'm a machine, boom, rock, switch, action, 
you. Put your right elbow next to your right knee, forearm on the ground, left hand over. Itch, name, sound, chi, go, rook, sich, hitch, ju, or die. Itch, name, sound, chi, go, rook, sich, hitch, ju. Send him straight to his right, left, and bring your legs in, right on the left. Massage your broad foot. In strip and arch, heel, calf muscle, take it up, shake, cradle, stretch, and both up, bring it together, slow it down, and die. Foot and step, arch, heel, calf muscle, shake, 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 cradle, same foot, same arm, foot, other arm, bring them together, down slowly. And um, get ready for um, doing our jackknives. So we'll do the pack full of the work of the boys just to be ready. Hi. Jackknives. Pleasure. Hitch. Me. Sound. She. Go. Rook. Seach. Hitch. Ku. Ju. Hitch. Me. Sound. She. Go. Rook. Seach. Hitch. Two, hitch, me, sam, she, go, rook, siege, hatch, ku, ju, and the your butt, scissors slow and wide, hitch, me, sam, she, go, rook, siege, hatch, ku, ju, leg raises, hitch, me, sam, she, go, work, switch, touch, ku, ju, next to chest, itch, ku, sun, she, go, work, switch, touch, ku, ju, flutter kick, itch, ku, sun, she, go, work, switch, Two, legs up straight, be on your belly, slowly down, stretch, right knee in, right down, twist. Down, twist. Okay, go to within rocking. Stretch. There's a bridge. Rocking if you can. Hands on your shoulders, push all the way up. And down. And we'll sort yourself out, whatever you need to do. And get ready for push ups. Do the face wall, obviously, do the face wall. Hey. Push your position. Head up, head up. up. Down, head leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, 
head up, red leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, red leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, red leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down, head up, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, head down, back, scoop, back, down and hold it, Slowly down, up, and die, and die, and die, turn around, what do you mean? Fix whatever you need to fix. Left tummy, go to get you. Die. Thank you. Remember everybody, you should be checking your harmony without looking down. Making sure you got 50-50 weight distribution. And your heels are barely touching the ground. It's all on the balls of your feet. Good thigh. And you know you can achieve that by bending your knees. So as you bend your knees, you should feel your heels slowly start to leave the ground. And as your heels are still in contact with the ground, hold that position. Good thigh. Thank you. So make sure your shoulders are over your hips and that you're breathing into your belly. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Die. Die, thank you. Especially with these still ones, make sure that you're not rocking back and forth from one weight on one foot to the other. They're nice and evenly distributed. Die. Die, Shinagi. Thigh, make your wrist stretch. Thigh. Let's do some paisabaki. Let the forward ready. Hitch. Me. Sun. She. Go. Hook. Sitch. Hitch. Chip. 
Daj. Pić. I. Tam. Trzy. Okay, so um, we're going to work with the sticks a little bit. One comes the cheekbone, we hit, we draw to the opposite cheekbone, hit backhand, come over the top, hit underneath, come over the top, hit backhand underneath, we draw the elbow, hook, and back. Again, one, cheekbone, forehand, we draw to cheekbone, backhand, come over the top, hit, come over the top, hit, we draw, coke, and back. And one more time like that. Cheekbone, hit, opposite cheekbone, backhand, over the top, hit, over the top, backhand, hit, we draw, and poke. Let's just do it with the count, so we go like this, one, two, three, four, five, and back. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, back. One, two, three, four, five, back. One, two, three, four, five, and back. Now, if you were actually doing this with another person, five, you would drop your guard hand. So let's do a couple more and practice that. This is actually becomes one of those things that people have difficulty with because you're poking and dropping at the same time. It's a bit like rubbing, uh, patting your head and rubbing your belly. Um, you, you have a tendency to do this or you have a tendency to do that. Um, so you want to do poke at one and uh, block, pat with the other. So again, one, two, three, four, five, and block. Same time, we draw. One, two, three, four, five. Draw. One, two, three, four, five. Draw. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. And back. Now we're going to go through um, our ten points with the um, stepping in five. And we're only going to go through it uh, one time in sequence, just so we remember the sequence. So I'll go through it one time and then I'll walk you through it one time. And then we're going to start concentrating uh, mostly on seven and eight, because that's going to be the main lesson of today, uh, both with sticks and without sticks. Um, one, we're coming in, chamber next to our cheekbone, and trapping their hand with our left, hitting shoulder neck joint, and return. Two, 
we need to chamber first so that we can track the hitting hand with our opposite hand and then we hit the shoulder neck joint and back. Three and four are relatively easy, our hand doesn't get in the way. We come in, trap the hand, hit the knee. Come in, trap the hand, hit the knee. And then five, we come in, cross step as we trap the hand, drop and rise up to poke. Six, same thing, opposite side. And this time we, we switch hands, come in, cross step, trap the hand, poke. Seven, step back, hide the stick. Forehand block, step in, backhand hit. Don't worry if you're not keeping up with me. Um, eight, back to the left side, stick on our elbow. Backhand block, step in, forehand strike. Back to uh, base. And now we slide back one block to the forehand, slide back backhand, drop to our base, step in, hit, and then we're going to turn over and do the um, EQ with the club takedown. Don't worry about that part. Okay, so now let's just go through that once. Don't worry if you don't have the whole sequence because we're going to start coming back through it. So. One, step in, trap, hit, and back. Two, step in, trap, hit, backhand. Three, step in, trap, hit, knee, forehand. Four, step in, trap, hit, knee, backhand. Five, step in, cross, step, drop, poke. Six, change hands, step in, cross, step, trap, poke. Seven, step back to the right, hide the stick. Forehand block, step in, backhand strike. And eight, slide back to the left, stick on your elbow. Backhand block, step in, forehand strike. And nine, step back, forehand block, so right foot is back, forehand hit. Step back again. Backhand block, and now drop to your uh, base position, step in, and uh, hit to the lower ribs belly. And one, you can imagine taking the arm over, turning them over, and two. take them. We get to practice one and two a lot, even three and four, maybe five and six, but we don't get to seven and eight. Usually it's towards the end of the class and we kind of breeze to it. So I want to take some time to do seven and eight. Um, and um, we're going to do that with and without the stick. So um, we'll work on the dirt in a second, but first with the stick. So with the stick, what we're doing is we're withdrawing as big as we can withdraw. So it's a, a backwards um, hitch step, which means that you're pushing with your front leg, pushing with your left leg. And you want to do more than just get here and step. You want to push enough that you have um, to still take quite a step with your uh, front leg to have it catch up with your back. The more distance you get, the better, right? The whole idea is that you're saying, come at me, and they'll come at you, and you're so far back that they then have to rechamber and come a second time and step in a second time. So if you only go back a little bit, they don't have to. Uh, come in anymore and, and you haven't invited them in in order to uh, do your uh, second move. So the idea here is that we're going as far back as we can, we're hiding our stick, we look like we're vulnerable, and they're like, oh, they're running away, and we come at them a, a second time. And from here, we should be able to uh, parry their incoming second strike. That's why we need them to follow us as deeply as possible and get them reaching as much as possible. So then we can parry it. Once their stick is knocked out of the way, then we can step back in and uh, backhand to their shoulder neck joint. And we've parried that stick out of the way, so we can now take that stick wielding hand in our uh, left hand as we come in and hold them 
throw their stick away while we clunk them with their strike. So let's just uh, practice that a few times. Um, what you want to do on tree from the side is you want to just drop the stick. So my arm isn't really moving, I'm just dropping the stick and putting it down the back of my leg so it's hidden and my hand is hidden. Just like as if you were in a knife situation, you want to hide the knife. Um, it's not like they don't know you have it if you're starting out like this, but this is really just pattern, right? If this was a real situation, maybe they don't know you have the stick, so you start out like this and then draw them in. And then, you know, hey, boom, boom, I have it, have a weapon. So, um, you want to do a big step back and hide the stick. Don't rotate your body too much, just enough to be in um, fighting stance, right? So your OB is going to be pointing slightly off, you're not going to be straight on, you're going to be slightly off and slightly turned, but not exposing your side. So ready? Uh, first step back, and you can bring up your guard hand. And now, forehand block. Take that hand that you've just taken as you come in, and backhand strike. So your, your blocking hand now is able to take the parry hand that you've just uh, knocked out of the way. Again, step back and look at guard, forehand lock, step in, backhand strike. And again, just control them with your hand. One more time, then we'll have a look at you. Step back, forehand, step in, backhand. And then just come back to base position. Go through them with the first hit. Right? So you're going to knock it out of the way and use that momentum to chamber for your backhand. So you don't have to stop there, then chamber, then hit. It's a one, two. Your block with your forehand strike can continue through and become chamber. So it's a one, two. One, two. You don't do one, stop, chamber, two, stop. Just go one, two. Because you're going to knock their stick out of the way and just use that momentum to, yeah, to chamber. Don't even stop at the chamber. So you got through to the chamber, and don't stop there. Just continue one, two, one, two. is one fluid mo motion, yeah. So with eight, uh, we're not, we're staying right-handed, of course. So um, this time, we're hiding our stick here. And we're not really hiding it, but we're hiding it in its own. So we're basically pointing the butt straight at the person so that you don't see the, the length and uh, position of it. Um, so, what again you don't want to do is you don't want to be like this, when you're standing just like in front of them when you across yourself, and you don't want to be like this where you're exposing your side. What you want is the same position that you would if you were just retreating to fighting stance, where your elbow would be guarding your chest, and just imagine dropping that down across your belly. So, the position of the stick is basically going to be like one fist on top of the other if your fist was on your belly button which is, should be just a natural position for your hands to fit into and then if you withdraw your foot into a uh, fighting stance you'll see that it's basically butt on towards your opponent so that's where we want to be because if we're over rotated it's going to take us more to get it out and we're exposed so we want to be able to almost just flip it out from the wrist but we have to extend the arm to make sure we get we don't know if they've followed us far enough in for us to just do it there right we want to protect it they're coming for our head so we need to be up here not here right? we're not going to, we're not going to be able to protect it at the end of our stick like that so again it's a hip turn as we do it and then as we step in we should again be able to and this is the, the most intricate part of it, and you don't have to worry that much about it. But if you can, so we come to here, we backhand lock, and then if you can, you would parry that hand while you force forehand strike. Um, again, that's not the most important. The most important part is that we get a bit of a hip turn into our backhand, 
and then come in and a hip turn into our forehand. So it's just like when we throw a punch to your back heel should come off the ground ever so slightly. And you can just put your hand in guard here too. This shouldn't be necessary to trap their hand. It's just an addition. In the kata, when we do it just as a kata, not as a, a technique, you're basically just going to keep your hand in guard position. You're not going to try and trap your hand. So the trapping the hand is, is the more practical version of it. The kata version is you know, nice and neat and tidy. We just keep our hands there. So the things to watch out for are um, when you step back. And, and actually, one of the things I noticed uh, was when we were doing seven, um, that people have a tendency to bring their stick out and down, um, when in fact all you have to do is drop it. Right? My, my hand, my elbow or my wrist didn't really move, it just dropped into position. Same thing with eight here, you want to minimize the amount of movement, so you don't need to bring it up and down, you just need to come from here to here, essentially. <laughs> right? So you're just doing that as you move. And then backhand, step in forehand, and uh, that's it for eight. So let's go over that a few times broken down. We step back, chamber, cross our belly, and then backhand strike. Step in, forehand strike. When I say backhand strike, it's really a block. Um, again, step back into chamber across our belly. Backhand block. Step in, forehand strike. And if you're getting all that and you feel very comfortable with it, also think about, well, maybe I can control them with my uh, arm there if I want to do this as a practical technique. Again, step back, chamber, backhand, block, step in, forehand, strike. Now the movement here, again, is as I said with 7 and 8, 7 and 8 you come back and you go 1, 2. So it's a continuous motion from this chamber through to this chamber through to the backhand. It's the same with 8. When we come back to here, we want to go forehand, let it come around, uh, I mean backhand, let it either come over the top, I let it just boom, come around, and we step in, it's already in chamber. So there should be a fluid motion. It's a little bit more stop-start than seven, because you have to come to chamber and back again. But it's very similar in that you want to have kind of a fluid motion. Okay, let's do it a couple of times uh, without stopping. Ready? Itch. Back. Knee. Back. Sun. Back. She. Back. Go. And back. Okay, in the Atemi version, they're not coming with two strikes. What we're doing is we're bringing them with us. So they're coming with a strike, and so we're uh, standing, say we're standing right foot forward, and they're coming right, uh, right strike, they come back, we step back, and we bring them with us, and then we're gonna kick them. Obviously there's many other things we can do, so that's one of the things we're gonna think about, but for now we're gonna do the kick. So if I'm uh, left foot forward, um, I'm basically doing eight, right? I'm stepping back to the left side, and I'm going to uh, trap them with my right hand, and then my agedi with the left, with the rear. And the reason we do that is that if we my agedi with the front, we have to go back even further in terms of our uh, body balance because we have to transfer weight onto our back foot. So we're instead transferring weight onto our front foot, so we can reach further. And we've got them, right? They're, they're leaning forward. Uke doesn't lean because they're attached to the ceiling, right? But they're leaning forward, and we can come up 
there that our rear, rear leg might get, except for I'd be holding with this hand. So um, we're deliberately starting right foot forward just so that we're doing it in the number sequence. Uh, so seven is stepping back with the right. So in the case of seven, we're stepping back with the right, trapping with the left, and bringing them with us. Again, we're in that same uh, fighting stance where our OB knots pointed slightly out. So now when we buy a Getty, we've got a hip turn that we're adding to it. And then we're going to chamber and step in and get ready to do, you know, what would be like a Kosoto Gary or some other uh, technique from the outside. So to practice this, what we're going to do is we're going to start just uh, hands up, uh, right foot forward, and step back, drop track with the left, rear leg Mayagedi, chamber, and step in with both hands up again. So fighting stance, not comedy, right? So uh, right fighting stance, hands up, step back right, track with your left, Keep your right hand up uh, by your cheekbones. Reach with the Mayagedi while pulling still with the left. Chamber and step in, both hands up and guard. Okay, and then the left is basically the same thing. We're going to start with our left. Step back left, trap right. Keep the other hand by your cheekbone. Reach in, Mayagedi while pulling the wrist towards you chamber and step back in again. So let's just do that uh, uh, 7, 8, 7, 8 like that. Uh, ready, so right foot forward, step back right, drop track left, right, get it right, chamber, step in. Switch your feet, step back left, track right, right, get it left, chamber, step in. Feet, step back right, trap left, right, get right, step in. Switch your feet, step back left, trap right, right, get right, left, step in. Switch your feet, step back right, trap left, right, get right, right, step in. Switch your feet, step back left, trap right, right, get right, left, step in. Okay, a couple of times at speed, right foot forward, itch, left foot forward, knee, right foot forward, sun, left foot forward, chi, and continue on doing that, and I'm going to have a look. They're, they're punching and you're trapping them and pulling them with you. So as, as you come back, you're, you're going to be like here. So like your arm is fully extended and you have to kick past it. So your arm is, your hand is basically going to be where your knee would be further in. And their hand is cutting across their body as you go to the, the opposite 45 of their hand. So you're not going this way, you're going that way. And that boat twists them and puts them onto their front foot. Imagine what other things can we do in this position, right? Um, uke, as I said, is like this, right? Their, their fist is coming forward and they're getting slightly twisted and pulled onto their front hand and their hand is out. What can we do? We can't do all of the usual things because we're now here too, right? So what, what, how can we get into a position to do something other than uh, the, the Maigari, because the Maigari is something that allows us to extend our body and come in. So what else can we do to take up uh, space and get back in? So one of the things, so if I'm like this, and again, you have to just imagine that Luke's body is pitched back. <laughs> um, one of the things is, kind of like our boom boom sweep, right? Our boom boom sweep, we do this parry between our hands. So if we have uh, if we have a hand, we can use it to pull ourselves in, right? So that can be boom boom sweep. 
right? So that's one thing that we can do to, to get in there. Another thing we can do is the start of that, boom, boom, elbow, and now we can do uh, kind of like a kimura, or we could do a tiger lock. So just uh, imagine doing one of those uh, two things, right? Imagine doing boom, boom, sweep, or boom, elbow, and then whatever. So the kimura looks like this. Uh, we come in and it's basically shihanagi, right? Um, or tiger lock, which you're probably more used to doing. But it's all about getting back in. So if you've taken them with you, now you need to pull, pull to get all the way back in. So the way we're going to practice it is, again, uh, right foot forward and step back, left traps. And now we have to do a rolling hitch step, like roll our hands. So we're transferring by pulling it towards our OB knot, trapping with the other one, and pulling again to our outer hip to get back in to make up that distance. So again, we're going to be right foot forward. We step back, drop trap with the left. We pull with our left as we slide in, and then transfer to the right to slide in even further. So that way we get a big pull, and big hitch step back in. Just the same distance we went back, same distance we have to come back in. But this time we're going to use them. They might actually come forward and take up some of that distance for us in that process. And once we get in, then we can either shoulder roll koso tagari or come in elbow, take the tiger lock, or take the shihanagi kimura. Okay, so let's try that first on the right side, stepping back. Step back, drop, and then hand over and come in. And then do one of the techniques, doesn't matter which. Again, step back, trap, hand to hand, step back in, and finish. Step back, left, trap, right, carry in, and sweep, or whatever you need to do. One more time, step back, left, trap, right, Hand to hand, come back in, and finish. So get your space, we're going to do some jumping jacks. And catch it. Itch, ni, san, chi, go, ok, sitch, patch, ku, chu, itch, ni, san, chi, go, ok, sitch, patch, ku, chu, itch, San, shi, go, rock, sitch, patch, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rock, sitch, patch, ku, and ju. And then A, and stand on even, to even, twist right, left, right, left. And stand with splits, wait for windmills. Remember to look at the ceiling each time. Itch, ni, san, shi, go, look, sitch, patch, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, shi, go, look. Squat. 
your hands down with the new balance. And toe raises. Ch, Nip. Sank. Chi. Go. Look. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Chu. Drop your right knee. Back. Left knee. Come back. Hands down both knees. To the scissor. Just right. Left. Right, left, and forward, hands on the mat, foot on heels. Back. Behind your head, forward, reach, knee, sun, she, go. You can touch your head to the ground, do so. Look, switch. Keep your butt on your heels though, catch, go. Spray your elbows side to side. Pitch. Keep your opposite foot on your heel. Knee. Sun. Shi. Gu. Rock. Switch. Pitch. Ku. Chu. And sit up straight. Right, just left, feet in front, keep them up, which means I'm machine, go up, switch, touch, do, do, reach deeper, which means I'm machine, go up, switch, touch, do, do, just right, left, and we need to set up a mat or something, we're going to do some crunches. Heels in, on your butt, this is by your cheekbones, crunches, hitch, knee, sun, shin, go, work, siege, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, knee, sun, shin, go, work, siege, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, knee, sun, shin, go, work, siege, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, me, so, she, go, back, sit, catch, cue, chew, pitch, me, so, she, go, back, sit, catch, cue, chew, pitch, me, so, she, go, back, sit, catch, cue, chew, pitch, me, so, she, go, back, sit, catch, cue, chew, pitch, me, so, she, go, look, switch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, mu, sun, she, go, look, switch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, mu, sun, she, go, look, switch, hatch, ku, and, and stretch it out, you set up whatever you need to. Knees up, cross your ankles. This way, your cheekbones. Elbows to opposite knee. Hitch, knee, sun, chi, go, back, switch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, knee, sun, chi, go, back, switch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, knee, sun, chi, go, back, switch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, knee, sun, she go back, switch, catch, go, jump, catch, me, sun, she go back, switch, catch, go, jump, catch, me, 
for some knee raises. So again, hands by your cheekbones. Elbows close to your chest, but with a gap between, you're coming up between them with your knees. Ready? Hitch, knee, sam, shi, go, rek, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, knee, sam, shi, go, rek, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, knee, sam, shi, go, rek, sitch, Hatch, ku, ju, hitch, ku, sam, shi, go, rek, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, hitch, mi, sam, shi, go, rek, sitch, hatch, ku, and ju. And yeah, Anne has come back into her drop, but she did it. Chest, drop your forearms and hands, and then she looks. Okay, and it's all that good for today. Like so. Thank you once more for coming. I hope to see you next time.